welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for the start of race three here in the 2021 Next Gen Piston Cup. Let's go ahead and introduce our group one drivers. First up, it's the igniter number two, Jackson Storm. And next up, the blinker number 21, Ryan Laney. And next up, it's the no stall number 123, Jonas Carvers. And last up, it's the rookie from Rusty's Racing Center, number 94, Jay. These drivers will compete in four races, and the driver with the most points will advance to the final here in race three. Jay and Carvers will start in row one. Laney and Storm starting in row two. And race three is officially underway. Jay will lead into turn one. Laney trying to make the move for second. There's contact. Laney's on top of Carvers and then around. Here comes Jay leading out of turn four. Jay will win the first race over Jackson Storm. Carvers third and Laney is facing the wrong direction. He's stuck at the entrance of turn three. After going on a wild ride, Carvers forces him into the wall. Laney ends up on top of Carvers halfway down the mid straight and then hits the hill on the outside of the track. And then Jay beats out Storm by half a car length to take the first race. So Jay picks up right where he left off in race two, and he starts with five points. Storm picks up three, Carvers with two, and then Laney has zero. For race two, Jonas Carvers and Jackson Storm will start in row one, and then we've got Jay and Ryan Laney lining up in row two. And the gate drops and we're back racing. Good start for Storm on the outside. Carvers is loose and he's gonna spin coming out of two. Jackson Storm takes the lead and it's gonna be Storm winning race two over Carvers. And then Laney just ahead of Jay to take third. Carvers would get loose and spin coming out of turn two. That would open the door for Jackson Storm to go around him on the inside and take the lead. And he would go on to take a big five points here in race two. And then a close finish between Laney and Jay for third. So Jackson Storm is the new points leader two races in. He's got eight points. Jay in second with six points. Jonas Carvers in third with five. And then Ryan Laney in fourth with two. The drivers are back at the starting gate, ready to go for race three. Jackson Storm and Ryan Laney will start in row one. Jonas Carvers and Jay starting in row two. And here we go for race three. Good start for Laney on the outside lane. He's gonna lead coming out of turn two. Storm following closely behind, coming out of turn four. Storm spins, Laney will take the win. Jay finishing second, Storm third, Carvers in fourth. What a great run for Ryan Laney on the outside. He carried a lot of momentum coming out of turn two and he was able to clear Storm. And then watch Jackson Storm coming out of turn four, he gets sideways. And then Jay gets into him, actually forcing Storm up on the wall. And Storm goes from second to third. So after three heats, Jackson Storm will continue to lead the way in the standings. He's got 10 points. Jay in second with nine. Ryan Laney up to third with seven points. And then Jonas Carvers down to fourth with six. Just one more race to go. And it is a must win situation for both Ryan Laney and Jackson Storm. It's gonna be Laney and Jay in row one. Storm and Carvers in row two. And the final race is underway. Laney leads into turn one. Here comes Jay trying to make a move. Storm to second. Here they come to the finish line. It's gonna be Jackson Storm. Storm beats out Laney by less than two one hundredths of a second here in the final race. What a run for Jackson Storm as he goes all the way from third to first in half a lap making the move on Jay around the outside. And then the door opens up and he had enough momentum to make the pass on Laney. That block right there, Laney on Jay, that slowed up Jay's momentum just enough to allow Storm to go around him on the outside. And then Storm just beats out Laney and Carvers, taking away third from Jay at the last second as well. So what a way to finish group one here in race three, Jackson Storm is the winner and he will advance on to the final of race three. Ryan Laney and Jay tie with 10 points apiece and then Jonas Carvers finishes in fourth with eight points. Let's introduce our group two drivers. First up, it's the tank coat number 36, Rich Mixon. Next up, the octane gain number 19, 
Danny Suarez. And next up, the faux wheel drive number 54, Herb Kerbler. And last up, the N2O Cola number 68, H.J. Hollis. We are set and ready to go for the first race here in group two. H.J. Hollis and Herb Kerbler will start in row one. And then we've got Danny Suarez and Rich Mixon starting in row two. The gate drops and we are back to racing. Hollis leads into one. Kerbler's gonna fend off the move from Suarez to hold on to second. Coming out of turn four, Hollis leads. He's into the wall and Kerbler goes around to take the win. Hollis finishes second. And then it's a photo finish for third, Mixon just over Suarez. What a brilliant run for Herb Kerbler coming out of turn four. Hollis gets into the wall a little loose and that opened the door for Kerbler to go right around him. And then watch this close finish for third, Mixon just barely beating out Suarez as he kind of cruises across the finish line. So Herb Kerbler leads after the first race. He's got five points. Hollis has three, Mixon with two, and then Suarez has one. The drivers are back at the gate, ready to go for race two. Kerbler and Mixon will start in row one. Hollis and Suarez in row two. And the green flag is back out. Great start for Kerbler, he's gonna lead into one. Here they go into turn three, Mixon to the inside. He gets turned around. Kerbler leads out of turn four. Kerbler's around, but it's gonna be Kerbler over Mixon at the line. Hollis third and Suarez in fourth. What a chain of events. Mixon gets blocked by Kerbler and then got turned around. And then Kerbler hits the wall, he spins around. And a little bump from Hollis pushes Kerbler past Mixon to grab the win. Watch it one more time. Kerbler and Mixon were side by side until Hollis got into Kerbler and gave him a little boost. And that's gonna allow Kerbler to start with back-to-back -back wins and 10 points. He will continue to lead. Hollis and Mixon tied with five points apiece and Suarez with two points. For race three, Rich Mixon and Danny Suarez will start in row one. And then Herb Kerbler and H.J. Hollis will start in row two. Here we go for race three. Mixon leads into turn one, Kerbler to second. Mixon's gonna pull away. Coming out of turn four, Mixon all by himself. He'll win race three. Kerbler second, and then Suarez is gonna finish just ahead of H.J. Hollis to take third. It was all Rich Mixon in race three as he wins by a large margin over Herb Kerbler. And then Hollis tried to run Suarez down in reverse, but couldn't quite get the job done and will settle for fourth. So three races in, Herb Kerbler continues to lead. He's got 13, Mixon has 10, Hollis with six, and then Suarez has four. Going into the final race, it's gonna be a battle between Herb Kerbler and Rich Mixon to see who will advance to the final in race three. Suarez and Hollis starting out front. Mixon and Kerbler starting in the back. And the engines will roar one last time today. Great start for Suarez. He leads out of two. Hollis with the block on Mixon. He holds on to second. Here comes Hollis. He's making a run on Suarez. But it'll be Suarez winning the final race of the day over Hollis. Mixon third and Kerbler finishes in fourth. What a block that H.J. Hollis threw on Rich Mixon. It actually forced Mixon up onto the wall coming down the mid straight. And then Hollis tried to make a run on Suarez, but couldn't quite get close enough to make a move. So that will do it for group two. Herb Kerbler will win here in group two and he will advance to the final of race three. Herb Kerbler finishes with 14 points. Rich Mixon in second with 12 points. And then we've got Danny Suarez and H.J. Hollis finishing with nine points apiece. Here are the overall driver standings halfway through race three. Jay has extended his lead to a 13 point gap over H.J. Hollis. Herb Kerbler up to third, he's got 55 points. Jonas Carver's up to fourth, he also has 55 points. Now one driver will advance to the championship race on points alone, and it could be Jonas Carver's as he currently sits fourth, but he's gonna need some help from the drivers behind him that have yet to run in race three. He's gonna need them to put up some low point totals. Herb Kerbler and Jackson Storm advance on to the final in race three. They will have another opportunity to put up points on the board and a chance to lock a spot in the championship race. For Ryan Laney, Rich Mixon, and Danny Suarez, that will be the end of their run here in the 2021 Next Gen Piston Cup.
Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us again today. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you all back here next week for the Legacy Piston Cup Final. Take care.